welcome to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Chikimiak II, and I am the Theater Professor. And this week, we continue our exploration of PaintStorm Studio. You can get a free trial of PaintStorm Studio at www.paintstormstudio.com. All right. I want first off, before I go any further, I do this every every video now. I want to thank all those that support me in my creation of these videos, specifically my Patreon members. You guys are fabulous. You are what keep me going, along with my patron subscribers at www.thetheaterprofessor.com. And for those that don't know, those that take my class, you guys are supporting too because that money goes directly back into the website. Everything I do, everything that I charge for goes back into the website. So I do a lot of free stuff. I like doing the free stuff, but you know, you got to pay for server costs and all that other fun stuff. All right, let's jump right in. Now the past, uh, last week we looked at three of the tools that we could use, which I'm calling the Fitch, the pencil, and the pen. This week we're moving into the flat brush and the feather brush. Now the fat, the fat brush, the huge brush, no, the flat brush is, when, when I look at it, it reminds me kind of like a, you know, a two inch, a three inch lay-in brush or chip brush. So let's see what we've got here. Now you'll see, for example, first one here says palette knife. So these are the ones that come with the program. It says palette knife. So I'm going to assume I have an assumption. Let me grab a color. Let's go like orangey brownish. That if I lay this down, yeah, it's like I'm using a palette knife. You know what this might be good for? This might be good for um, creating trees and creating mountains. Now I'm trying to see. Okay, it my angle doesn't change on rotation of my pen because I don't have... Oh, maybe it does. Look at that. But you can see you can change the direction I'm I'm moving my pen all about you'll have to kind of play with it but this is one of those things where you know you start to create a brown tree now I I've not played with this brush yet so I don't know it's more like a bush I've gone bush I'm bush league I am bush league and it's the wrong color obviously um, but this could be a lot of fun in creating of mountains you know depending on how you lay it in. Again, I'm totally the wrong color right now. You know, you, if I were going to do anything like this, I'd probably come into my, my neutral blues, kind of play. You can kind of see, you know, start to get some mountains there. Again, just kind of plain okay so this is the palette knife it's nice probably not my favorite when you go over so the, it's got some nice color blending qualities when you come over you know I say that but then it's going flat over top of that do I have to go oh I have to go light so the lighter you press down the better the blends gonna be so pressure sensitive here okay let me go ahead and add a new layer and, and get rid of this layer Next up, we have, what do we got? We got flat brush one. Yep. It's got, it's, it, you know what? I love that it's got the brush, um, what looks like fibers or, or, or bristles. Okay. Create some nice look. Let's see how the blending is. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Right now, it's not on dirty mode. We'll look at dirty mode later on. Um, so it, it, it doesn't stay dirty if I were like so if I turn dirty mode on and grab a color as I mix the new color that's created would become a little more prominent my dirty strength is a hundred oh we want to turn off preserve main color so now as I come in and mix you'll see now I get this it gets really dirty you can see okay so but we're going to turn that off for now we're not going to mess with that that's for later on so that's kind of nice one of the things that it does is i have to hold my pen my stylus in different directions to get the different angles of the brush uh, so that's something that takes a little getting used to uh, we need a new layer because i am dirtying up these layers quick next up we have a flat brush again flat brush textured though this time 
Oh, there is a little bit of texture there. Okay. Let's grab like a yellow. Okay, I'm gonna go a little smaller. I'm a little... Yeah, there's a little bit of texture. Okay. Next up, we have a flat brush dirty. Now this, I think, yeah, this has dirty mode on. So if I lay down one color and grab a second color and start to mix in, it starts to grab it and we start to change the color a little bit, okay? But because this does have preserve main color on, every time I pick up, it's gonna go back to that main color. Okay, so there's a little bit of dirtiness. Dirty bird. Next up, we've got flat brush directional. So I move this way. So this, depending on my direction, I'll always have a flat. There is no hard edge to this. So whatever direction I move, it is flat. Looks like there is a texture in there, a little bit of texture. You can, you know, you can take the smaller and get... You hear my clicking of my stylus. Almost going Christmas tree. -y. All right. Next up, we have what do we got? We we got night knife tilt. Oh, so it can can see the tilt of my knife. Okay. Interesting. All right, next up we have Knife Textured, which is also still seeing the tilt, but there's texture to it. Now let me get a bigger, yeah, see the texture? Nice texture going there, I like that. Next up we have a Flat Brush Mouse One. I don't even know what that means. Oh, I like the texture there. Next up, we have flat, little, dirty fade. Oh, so these are like little dabs. So, oh, and I lost my color there because it's this. We're not preserving the main color now, so I have to come back in and pick up some of this green for it to continue. So, for example, right now I'm actually touching the pad, but I'm not getting any color. Okay. Next up, we have Low Feature Dirty. Still more, more texture. You can kind of see the texture is kind of static when you don't lift up. So I'm not lifting up my brush right now, and you can see the texture. But if I lift up now, now the texture is in a new location. So you get, get texture over texture. It's not bad. This is in dirty mode, but it is preserving the original color. Next up, we have low feature. This one's not dirty. Again, love the texture. Now, a lot of these seem the same. So one of the things that you'll have to do is you'll have to kind of play with it. Do you know, you, you'll, you'll start to see which ones you like, which ones you don't like. You'll see a lot of, um, a lot of adjustments will be made by you to create the brushes that you want. So if you don't see anything that you like here, you, you'll always be able to adjust. This is after manga hit hair oh cool so these are like little oh it's manga hair that's exactly what it is okay well that's really interesting you can see it creates two lines and then when I let go it points them to create this manga hair look next up we have flat direction It's, it's, yeah, nothing, nothing special there. What do we got next? Now we have a flat gradient, and this is cool. So you can actually add gradients into your brush. It doesn't have to be a flat color. Okay, so for example, let's change the gradient to this one. Look at that. You can build gradients in. It's really kind of cool. What is this? Use stroke gradient. Now we don't want that. We want the gradient that we're picking down low here. That's nifty. That there is nifty, man. 
a rainbow flat. Okay. And again, I think you just you change your gradient. Let's go. So let's go true rainbow. Look at that, I've got a rainbow. Now, what, if you just notice, I changed my color on my color wheel. So if I've got my color wheel at white, I get that. If I have it at black, I get that. So changing your color wheel does affect your gradient. Okay, so just something to be aware of. Now we have a simple flat brush. So this way we can do two directions. Okay, and again, if I if I hold my pen in a different location, the tilt of my brush changes essentially. Next up, we have dirty, dry dirty. Oh, okay. So again, little daubs. Now you can see I'm losing my color because I'm going over white, and I'm essentially losing paint, right? So the more you go, the more you you lose paint. Now I just tapped inside my color wheel again, and it, fill, it fills the paint back up on the brush. Okay, so I tap, and that's, that's how that, that works. Next up, put extender. Oh, this is interesting. So it starts dark and then goes light. Okay, so let me do this on a new layer so you can see it. So if I start here, dark paint, and then goes light. So essentially you are running out of paint as you go vroom. if I kept going I'd probably go down to white yep next up we have little putt oh these are really small little pieces okay it is in dirty mode we are not preserving our color so I have to come back in interesting inverted control I don't see anything special about it, but doesn't mean there isn't. Next up, we have random texture. Ooh, I like that. Oh, so each time you lay it down, you get a different texture base. So you can see sometimes I'll have texture, sometimes I won't. Okay. And then flat transparency, which allows me to build up layers. Let's grab a different color. So you can build up the layers on top. Get some nice blending going on here. Okay. And that's everything inside what I call the flat brush. Next up, we have feather brush. Now, there's a variety of different things in here. I'm still learning this a little bit. So for example, this says mixer brush here. And I'm not sure why it's red. See how it's red in this area? That's something that I'm still trying to figure out. Um, I'm trying to see if like choosing a non-red, what the setting difference is. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play with it. I'm not sure. So we, you know, it says mixer. So my thought would be, is that it comes in. Oh, it is. It, it mixes using my color. So it, okay. So it's mixing in and creating new colors. Okay, that makes sense. Then mixer brush three probably does the same. And then if I keep, yeah, okay. So it mixes in a little bit. It mixes the colors together. Okay, that's nice. I guess that mixer one does the same, just in a different way. Okay. Now that we've looked at those, and I'm gonna do a little more exploration on that for you guys, so that I understand them a little more fully. That's an area that I'm still a little sketchy in. Next up, we have a round camel hair. This is the small version. And you can see it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. And now we have round fade so this fades off see that okay and it's a round fade so it's not flat brush hairy 
<laughs> oh, it does. It does look a little bit like hair. Okay. Oh, that's that's kind of cool. Create a nice. Hold on. And then you can come over here. Huh. Can create some nice hair with that. So that's brush hairy. Now we have a hair gradient. She now can come back in. This is what it looks like on the outside. Create a nice, nice head of hair here. Going to the right, I'm much not. I'm not nearly as good as going to my left. So that's ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, well, let me zoom out a little bit. For those that don't know, spacebar and control, and then moving your stylus left and right while touching will zoom you in and out. Spacebar by itself allows you to move it around. Spacebar plus Alt allows you to spin it. Okay. Next up, we have Random Dirty. Uh, it's not bad. It creates some nice texture. It would be cool for clouds, right? Or explosions. Oh, now we have Dirty Cloud. Okay. And Round Dirty. Oh, okay. So this has a fade. The Round Dirty has a fade. So those are so random dirty, dirty cloud, and round dirty has a little texture texture to it. So something to be aware of. Next up we have camel hair little. So I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it big. Okay, so yeah, so then you can make it small and do some nice camel hair. We have tube. This one's really cool. Watch this. It creates a tube. I mean, a tube look. Let me come over here and do like black. Okay. I don't know what I would ever use it for, but it's cool. Now we have after gradient. So you draw, and then when you let go, the gradient fills itself out, and you get points on the end. And then you have round direction. So it stays round. Let's change it to a color. Change it smaller, stays round regardless of the direction you go. Okay, so these are uh, what I'm calling the feather brush and then the flat brush. They do a lot of cool things, do some really nifty hair things, which I'm now gonna have to play with because that's the first time I've played with that. So go ahead and mess around with those uh, two sets this week. See what you come up with. Maybe post them to the forums at www.thetheaterprofessor.com. Just click on the forums link head there, post something up. Let me see what you're creating with this program. If you're not already a member of our free artists membership, make sure you sign up as well or subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's good for me too. I like knowing that people are getting something out of these. Again, this is Paintstorm Studio. Check out the free trial at paintstormstudio.com. And my name is Terry Dana Jakimiak II and I am the theater professor.